Good evening, my beautiful ladies. It is now time for me to take the day off and I want to introduce a new product that I'm finding. I've been using it for five weeks and it is amazing. Good product and it's called Olioso. Beautiful name. Let me tell you a little bit about here. Paula, the owner, says it's made in small batches, plant-based, hand-poured, waterless, woman-owned, cruelty-free, and Oregon-made. How can you go wrong with that? I'm going to use first the Adio cleansing oil. It's a remover and improver, a multitasking cleansing oil that nourishes skin as it removes makeup and impurities. And it's just very simple made. It just has a few ingredients. The main, of course, is olive oil. She is Italian. The rest are like uh, apricot, kernel oil, sweet almond, and of course, the olive oil. And you take a big dropper, like a so. Whoop. Take your glasses off. And we're going to go like this. And I like to do it. I put a little extra because mascara is the demon removal. And I work on that first. So what you do is you just rub it in. Not real hard, but you know, it's just, it's a new feeling. First, I thought, oh my gosh, I'm not getting clean, but I am. And then I'll take my little rag here. Now I said to put it in hot water to help it uh, dissolve. When the moon meets your eye, it's a big pizza pie, that's the moon. I'm sure that's not how it went. <laughs> All right. Now I've got hot water on this, and I'm going to go like this. Oh, yeah. Mm. Mm hmm. Look. Mm. Oh, yeah. After I've cleansed, I take my uh, Trentinoin at 5%. Little thingy like this, and I go over. Ah. Over the spots <laughs> I need. This stuff has been really instrumental in getting my face in a lovely condition, soft and supple. And what will help it even more is after, because the Trentinon can be very drying, is these oils. Now, the oil, the Salva oil, right here, this palace says, you can use it to thin out foundations or creams to make them more sheer and dewy. Tap a bit on your cheeks and face to refresh your skin all day. All right. I'm going to take again on this the oil. Oh, and the smell is heavenly. It's got a little like a little eucalyptus flavor in it. Flavor. A eucalyptus smell. Oh, yeah. And I do that on my eyes and under my eyes. And then there is another product. And this one hasn't been out very long. It's called Salvisa. It's a treatment jelly. Let me tell you about it. It aids in cellular rejuvenation, reduces the appearance of dark spots and fine lines, protects delicate skin from transdermal water loss, long-lasting hydration, and two natural humectants. Helps create a strong and protective moisture barrier, soothes and depuffs, stimulates healthy blood flow with natural caffeine. It smells like coffee too. Revitalizes and supports cellular strength and elasticity with added olive, squalene, and ceramide E. Okay, the usage is whatever you want it to be. It can be used as a slugging. I like to use it under my eyes morning and night. Mm -hmm. And I use it on my eyes because my eyes have a tendency, you know, our eye area is so drying. Oh, and then I use it around my lip, oh, up my nose. Well, actually, around my, oh, I like it by my nose because it smells like coffee. Oh, so good, ladies. If you can do this like an hour before bed, then we'll give it a chance to soak in. Unless you sleep primarily on your back like I do, then it will soak in beautifully and not get all over your pillow. So if you feel 
like you really want to try something that's very natural, very down to earth and very, very hydrating and soothing. It actually feels like my skin is, I don't know, firmer. It's amazing stuff. Thank you, Paula. You're an amazing woman. All right, everybody. It's time for lights out. <laughs>